Uh, yeah, it's all around better than Geno's Mega Cape. But uh, for the other... Uh, yeah. Yeah, for the other items, it's... Uh, for the other people, the, uh, their uh, armor, it gives more attack and magic attack, but less defense and magic defense. see if uh, the... Okay, the... Weapons and stuff that I gather don't take up the same uh, inventory as the items, so I, I don't need to sell them just yet. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll hang on to them until I either need the coins or the uh, item space. Bowser in your party eventually. I uh, hope that soon. Gotta be a hidden block up here somewhere. Okay, I guess not. Finally back into the, uh, into the gameplay segment uh, after lots of running around talking. Uh, 
Oh, he's so weak. I wasn't even paying attention when uh, it said that. So. Oh well. He's got a little tougher. Probably attack him first. Just continuing on with the uh, the SNES games uh, I played this year. Uh, next was uh, Brawl Brothers. Uh, I honestly don't remember it that much. Uh, it's a I don't know, a beat 'em up, anyways. Uh, I think I just looked for you know what's a short beat 'em up, and yeah, I think it was like an hour or two. Uh, Not much else to say. I don't really care for beat em ups too much. Uh, I had the uh, Ninja Turtles one on the NES, and uh... okay, self destructed. Uh, yeah, I had the Ninja Turtles one on the NES, and then uh, Rival Turf on the SNES. Uh, I keep pressing X by accident. But aside from that, I didn't didn't really have uh, any beat em ups or play them that much as a kid. Uh, I guess I'm supposed to follow the signs or not. I didn't, uh, I don't know, I just kind of wanted to play it, so, uh, yeah, I played through it, uh, I'm pretty sure I use, I probably use like, an infinite continuous cheat or something, because, uh, I didn't really care for going through the whole thing, uh, multiple times. After that, there was, uh, Bonkers. Uh, again, this was another like, okay, is there some, uh, you know, game I could just beat in like an hour or two? Uh, and yeah, it was it was pretty easy. It's uh, I think it's like a Disney character. I don't know, it's some cat, I think. Uh, Tom and Jerry uh, again on the SNES. Uh, I seem to remember it being just again it was another short game uh, but I seem to remember it being just extremely b uh, bland like it was a very generic kind of platformer with you know, not really uh... oh did he just kill? Oh so that's just like a, a one hit kill I guess He just uh, straight up killed them. Oh uh, yeah, so uh, Tom and Jerry was, I don't know, pretty generic. I don't really care for the cartoons or anything, or you know, I've hardly seen any. I just didn't watch them as a kid or anything, and uh, I don't. I just kind of figured I'd beat some quick game. Uh, so yeah, it was okay, but not. Uh, Particularly interesting.
Uh, then there was uh, Genju Yoda. Uh, I think I I did start kind of a video about that, but I wasn't I don't know totally happy with it, and I was gonna probably redo some stuff. Uh, it's basically like uh, well, it's a Famicom Super Famicom exclusive. Uh, it's a uh, it's basically Advance Wars, but uh, kind of medieval fantasy. Yeah, it, uh... Yeah, I was gonna probably do the... Yeah, uh, I don't know, probably finish that video and talk about it there. But yeah, it was an uh, interesting uh, kind of medieval fantasy Advance Wars. It has some problems. It's not uh, as good as Advance Wars. Uh, but it's, it'd probably be worth playing if you liked, uh, that. Uh, and yeah, I, I don't think I beat it. Uh, I got, you know, like halfway through, I think, and then, uh, it was kind of like, okay, yeah, I, I get what's going on here. Uh, I don't really need to be spending more time on this, because it was really kind of, uh, I don't know, it uses a lot of your time. It's kind of slow. Uh, a a n no filena. Uh, it's a uh, eternal filena. Uh, it's a JRPG. Uh, I was thinking about doing a video about it sometime, just because you know it's uh, Japan exclusive that you don't hear about much. So I thought it'd be interesting. It was okay. Uh, there's probably, I don't know, there's a hundred better JRPGs on the SNES, so, it's, but it's not bad. Uh, it's uh, based off of, a, I think, a light novel, uh, and I haven't read the light novel, I don't really know much about it, but I would bet that the game is probably following the novel very heavily, like, Probably, you know, chapter for chapter, uh, you know, everything that happens in the novel will happen in the game. Because it does a lot of, uh, kind of weird stuff that you wouldn't, it wouldn't make sense purely from a gameplay, gameplay perspective, but it's, uh, uh, you know, it is, I, I'm assuming, following the novel pretty heavily, and that's why it's doing it. Like, there's all sorts of just constant, uh, you know, new characters joining the party and then leaving, and then uh, lengthy segments where you do nothing but like run around town talking to people for like an hour or two, and uh, uh, it's extremely linear. You you basically just go, you know, from this town to this town to this next spot, and you know, there's no going back ever. And probably just kill these guys from the start so they don't do that. Uh, but yeah, it's... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's following the novel very heavily to its... Ah, uh, oh, jeez, I didn't want to do this. Okay, it's a tie. That's good. Yeah, so like it's it's okay. Uh, it's not really great, not really bad, but there's you know tons of better ones. But uh, yeah, well that and Genji Ryodan, I was just looking through like the list of SNES games and just uh, you know randomly picking one to play and happened upon those two. So uh, yeah, I know that's what I like doing sometimes. I have found quite a few interesting games that way.
Oh, here's a bomb. Anyway, after that was uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. No. Uh, no doubling. I was supposed to come back out or not. But I can uh, heal and everything anyways. Uh, so yeah, Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door. Uh, I think I talked about it earlier, so there's uh, really not much else to say, but yeah, I, well, I hope I talked about it earlier anyways. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was really good. Uh, I'm not terribly interested in playing the other Paper Marios, because from what I've heard, they're just not really that good, but uh, yeah, it was really good. It it holds up perfectly. I, you know, I've heard some people say like, oh, you know, it's, it's just a thousand year door fans, they're, you know, nostalgia blind and everything, and, uh, but no, like I played it for the first time this year, and it, it was great. Uh, if it was made this year it would be just, you know, I'd like it just as much. I think it would do just as well. I hope he's not like terribly difficult again, like before. Cause this was the guy that killed me so many times uh, originally. So Mallow's actually doing somewhat decent damage now. He is somewhat of like an actual boss. Oh yeah, he is much easier, I think. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. What did he steal there? Oh, he stole all my items. Okay. Oh yeah, he should be down in another turn or two, I think. So yeah, that was the only GameCube game I played this year. Uh, after that, uh, going on to Game Boy games, uh, I played uh, first Donkey Kong on the Game Boy. Uh, and it was really good. Uh, you don't hear about it very much, but, uh, you know, I guess People probably, you know, I, I don't know if it was just they just didn't market it uh, very well, because, uh, you know, you look at it and it looks like it's just Donkey Kong, like the arcade Donkey Kong, and so you're like, okay, you know, I don't really want to buy, like, a whole Game Boy cartridge just for, you know, Donkey Kong, uh, especially if you're not really into arcade games. But after you beat, like, the original Donkey Kong levels, uh, it moves on to, uh, I don't know, there, there must be like 80 other levels that are like that, but they're, you know, they're kind of like plat puzzle platformer style, uh, levels. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, like it's, I don't know, it's just really good. Uh, yeah, it's not terribly difficult. I was able to beat it, no problem, without like any save scumming or cheats or anything. Uh, there's plenty of lives, and uh, yeah, I think I probably had, you know, dozens of lives uh, stocked up at the end. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, really good. Uh, Uh, abilities. Okay. Well, I killed him anyways. That was the important point. Uh, so after that was the three Super Mario Land games. Uh, and I did a video on them. Or, you know, I was playing them. You know, uh, recorded. So. Uh, Yeah, you can probably, I don't know, see my thoughts on them, but yeah, they were, they were all pretty good. Uh, the first one was a bit kind of weird and kind of off feeling, like it was, uh, I don't know, everything about like the movement and the music was a bit kind of different from Mario. Uh, two was really good and was, you know, just like what you'd expect for a Mario game. Uh, three was good, but you know, a bit slow. Uh, and uh, 
Yeah, still good though. Uh, I do want to play some of the other uh, Wario games sometime. Alright, uh, I think I'm gonna take a bit of a break to go get uh, some food and stuff. <laughs> 